Hello there. Let's learn the intricacies of the trinket table. There are currently four tiers to trinkets. From lowest to highest, they are white, green, blue, and purple. You can merge three trinkets of the same tier. Orange trinkets don't exist yet, so hold off on merging purple ones. The resulting trinket is random, so you don't have to worry about combinations and such. There are three possible outcomes to merging. Number one, a trinket of the same tier. Number two, a trinket that is one tier higher. Like this one, we combined three blues and luckily got a purple. Number three, no trinket. In this case, we get mystic ash and sometimes natural sand of the same tier. The same thing that happens when equipped trinkets break. Sand is used in recipe merging. Unlike merging, recipe merging always succeeds. You unlock these recipes through merging. For the green tier, you only need to successfully merge into one of a specific trinket to unlock the recipe for it. For blue, you need two. For purple, you need three. To craft a green trinket, you need three white sand. To craft a blue trinket, you need three green sand. To craft a purple trinket, you need three blue sand. Purple and orange sand don't have a use as of yet. I have nine green sand, so I'll be crafting three blue trinkets for merging. Doesn't matter which, since merging result is random. Let's merge what we crafted. Another purple, lucky. But not all trinkets are created equal. If you check their info, you can see they have a set range. You can see these two have different values across the board. Normally, I'll be keeping the one with higher fire resistance. Resistance is that important Elemental attacks like Needner's Frost Breath would otherwise hit really hard. You will notice prefixes like Runner, Plated, and so on in your trinket's name. This gives an additional effect. You can tailor it to your needs via reforging. The process consumes Mystic Ash. I'll be spending all of my mind to give you a preview of possible prefixes. Just pause if it's too fast. your regular attacks with multiple elemental damage, including fire. With this, I don't need to bring fire arrows to a Needner boss fight, because regular wooden arrows would be imbued with fire and other elements. Fire imbued attacks destroy Needner's icicles, for those of you who don't know.
use less mystic ash to reforge the lower tiers. Next on the table, we have dismantling. Similar to what happens when merging fails, or when an equipped trinket breaks, it would also yield mystic ash, and sometimes natural sand of the same tier. Start dismantling when you have gained the recipes for the trinkets that you want. Prioritize merging until then. Finally, we have repair. It brings back trinket durability to maximum. Robustness would decrease every time you repair. It tells how much more you could repair the trinket. When item durability reaches zero, it would break regardless of robustness. So remember to check your equipment routinely for repairs. And that's it for this course. I hope that it gave you the confidence to face the trinket table.